And we are back. We are back. Relevant Sports Episode 179 Part 2. Yeah, we got to do it on Zoom. You know, the producer's not here, whatever, whatever. But I got the guys with me again. We got Darren from Fat Boy Fade Away. Great show. And we got the champion, Nico, from Far Into the Bitch. Check out both shows. All of them are on the Variety Sports Network. They have all kinds of channels, all kinds of people, talents everywhere. But these two are one of my two of my favorites. Um, appreciate y'all sticking with me with all this Zoom stuff. <laughs> but uh, now oh, we can man. really get into the other teams, man. We we talked about the Nuggets. Well, actually, Nico talked about the damn Nuggets for like <laughs> minutes, you know what I'm saying. But he deserves that moment. He deserves that moment. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And I'm happy for him. I was cheering for this guy. Isn't that crazy? I was cheering. And I'm happy you were. I'm you just. I'm just. You're a good host. Think- I'm yeah. just trying to figure out what what was sweeter, whooping your uh, your team's ass in four games or the championship. I think they're about it, even. It was definitely the championship because beating the Lakers with LeBron James meant nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you done beat Kobe Bryant like Boston did when my daughter was getting born, that would have pissed me off. It still pissed me <laughs> off. But since Kobe went back and beat their ass and made LeBron go join the super team, that makes me feel – that's my moment of – ah. You know what I mean? That's, <laughs> that's my moment like you have right now. Beating Boston okay. after they beat us when my daughter was born and then making LeBron James go join and start this whole super team thing, that's my favorite ring. That's that's always going to be my favorite ring. Redemption, baby. Redemption. So you finally beat the Lakers, swept them after we didn't beat y'all. How many times in the Western Conference Finals? I'm sorry, how many games did you win again? No, no. How many, <laughs> how many times we beat y'all in the Western Conference Finals? I mean, we don't talk about the past. We talk about the current. That's, that's true. That's true. We talk about the current. And speaking of the current right now, speaking of the current, the losing team, the Miami Heat, which I still say Jimmy Butler's not a superstar. We can argue about that another day in time. He's a very, 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 very good star, maybe even a great star. But there's been rumors about Damian Lillard finally maybe leaving Portland and joining up with them, which I think would be a huge thing. Um. So I just want to start it off like this, Darren. Let me start it off like this. Because Portland has just come out saying, we're not going to trade him now. We're right. going to build around him. And possibly we're actually going to try to trade for Bam. <laughs> that number three pick. Rumors are that it's either going to – they can either try to go get Zion or PG-13 from the Clippers. First of all, do you think Dame should stay loyal to, to them? Because now they want to talk about building around him as he's getting older and older. Or she say, yo, I'm trying to be out. I've given enough. What do you think? Because you got some players on your team that might have to decide the same type things, Darren. Go ahead. I I See, I kind of look at it this way. I respect him if he wants to stay loyal to them. I respect that. But I think from a basketball standpoint where he's at in his career, where the Blazers are, it makes sense for him. This is the time. And this is the best time to go out. Like, he doesn't have to prove anymore in Portland. He's done what he's needed to do. Their franchise altogether has kind of let them down in a lot of ways, too. But you said the Zion one, like to play with CJ McCollum again, that's not going to work. You know, I mean, we've already seen that dance. That no, no, team's no, 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 no. already. Zion, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. But CJ plays for them now. So to me, that's to me, like that one's out of the, I just can't see that one happening. But back no, to no. Portland, like Zion would go to Portland. Zion would go to Portland. Jordan. And the Pelicans with the number three pick. Which okay, I see if they Duke get Henderson. that. You see what I'm saying? I, yeah, I just, I, I mean, that, that helps them, I guess. If they see him, they do that. I get you. That makes sense in that regard. But I, I, I don't think he has to prove anything more to Portland. I mean, he's done his time there. If he wants to stay, though, I don't, like, blame him either. I respect players that want to do that. That want Even if it's sometimes, even like Kobe, like, you know, the franchise shouldn't have paid him all that money, but I respect him for wanting to stay there with him. And I like, like, Reggie Miller, like, for me, that matters a little bit more than probably for most people. So uh, if he does that, whatever, that that's fine with me. I'm good with that. And Nico, Nico, Kobe Bryant. I always got to throw that in. I love that shit. I <laughs> love that shit. But, um, but let's say, let's say he wants to stay with Portland. Which, which player would be better with Dane? Zion or PG-13? Well, it's easily PG-13 because 
Zion would would not be playing half the games, and who knows what you're getting out of it. I think that Portland would prefer Brandon Ingram out of the two, if I'm being honest with you. If they, if they, they would rather be Brandon Ingram than Zion if you were trading with the Pelicans and bringing one of them over to team with Dane. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I – I have to fathom, like, look, it's gotten kind of sick and tired of it. Of Dame's so loyal, Dame so loyal, Dame so loyal. Who the fuck cares? Like, like, like at this point, like, you're either you're either, look. Dame is Dame is becoming into a player that you know he's a guy, but he's not a guy. You know what he, I mean? I, like he's a, he's a dog, but how how like at some point, like he can't he, he look. Hurry, you, whoops we, his ass, right? Murray whoops his ass. We we can have these arguments Who of Jaw versus Dame. Hurry. Ja- Curry. We can have these ar- we can have the we can have these arguments of 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 rosters against one another, right? Like they look look at this Portland roster, look at the, the Memphis roster. You cannot tell me that 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 Memphis is that much better than than than, than Portland's roster. John they took are. that team to another roster. Oh, they're a lot. They're a lot better. A lot better. At the at the at the, at the at Portland's prime at Portland's prime. They were a better team than this Grizzlies team was. Playing the prime, three Portland, years ago when they were in the Western Conference Finals? Not now. Yes, 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 that team. Those players and, are and gone. Look, I know they were. And whose fault is that? The the organization. He doesn't need to be loyal. Exactly. Like, like you don't need to be loyal to me. Who the fuck cares? So like, it out. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like, like look, Portland's not going to trade him in conference. That'll never happen. So that's why so George, to me, doesn't seem possible. Not them. George, they're not the Clippers aren't gonna do that either. They are not they're not talking anything. about it right now. I'm gonna tell you right now, the, the asset be is gonna though. be stupid high. It's gonna be stupid high. It will be stupid high. I I, I think there's a look, Miami it, right now it's Damian Lillard bust, so they'll be a, a a four seed again at at maximum in the playoffs next year. At maximum, they'll be a four seed. Okay. That's behind Boston, behind Philadelphia, behind Milwaukee at best. And 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 Ooh. and and they have to. They have to figure something out um, to, to to keep themselves back in this title picture. Jimmy Butler wants to ho- ho- hoist the other trophy, like you were saying in these Collins finals. But for Dame's perspective, look, it doesn't matter anymore. It, like, who cares? Do you really look? Like, we are what twenty four hours away as we're recording this from the NBA draft starting, and it does not sound like a deal is right there and for the taking for them. So it looks like you're going to be paired with Scoot Henderson. Or Brandon Miller. Do you really just think, like, you know what? Nah, I want to waste my prime. Let me, let me, let me, let me mentor this young guy and, no. and go from there. No. If they draft no. a young guy, Dame's getting traded. He should. He absolutely should. And and my and right now, all the inklings are showing me that they're going to draft the young guy, and that they're saying they're not listening to calls anymore about Dame. That that, that, that that's what they're going to do. Doesn't say that. And and it's an idiotic that. move. It's an idiotic move. How does Miami do this? I don't understand how Miami gets Lillard in a set. Like to me, that's such a steal for them because they, they have, have a no one. To, they're not going to trade the Phoenix. Phoenix. They'll, 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 like, like they can trade Hero. They can trade Robinson. They can trade um, oh, Gabe Vincent. You can. You I can know. Trade, look, I don't think they're that high. Team. But look at the look, no. Seriously, look at the asking price Bradley Beal just had. That's because like, the Wizards are idiots. I know it's the Wizards are idiots, but, <laughs> but you cannot tell me Portland's that much smarter. That's after what I'm all saying. It's the one salary. So keep like, them. Keep them. Why? That's why if you're Portland, why not keep them? You're not. You're getting you that keep him him freaking hero. And you draft a young guy, he's gonna get pissed off. He he hasn't. He hasn't done that. He hasn't. But he's older now. He's seeing guys like Jokic and them win a championship with a superstar. Teams have passed him. Teams have surpassed them. Teams have come up and surpassed Those them. Those days are over Never for Dame running the shit by himself. He's exactly. got a team now. Then why not play with a guy like Scoot Henderson? Like, to me, that would be an unreal opportunity if the – Why wouldn't LeBron Hornets, play with the number one pick, Andrew Miller. Wiggins? Why did LeBron trade the number one pick, Andrew Wiggins, to get Kevin Love? I agree. I thought that was kind of a – that was a short-sighted – that's the same thing. thing. Why would he want to play with Scoot? Scoot? Well, Lillard's not LeBron. Like, that's – not, but what I'm honest. saying is – He's got yeah, he's not because he got a Kobe gene in him. He's a killer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, killer been to one Western Conference Finals, real killer. <laughs> With what team? LeBron bro? with four championships. Exactly. <laughs> Kobe, Kobe got to the, got to the NBA Finals with a bunch of bums and Paul Gasol. That's, that's the goat, son. That's Kobe. That's why. Exactly. I'm not, I'm not this is Kobe. I'm saying Damian Lillard hasn't have it in him. Well, he's not. Kobe. Have that in him. He's not. He's not. You just said he was. No, he's I said he had a gene. I said he had a gene. 
the and LeBron G- doesn't like have his four championships. Just like on my show last week, I said Jamal Murray has that Kobe gene in him. He does. It's yeah, just because he keeps ripping his fucking jeans and getting hurt every goddamn other every other year. <laughs> that's why you can't see it. That's the difference. That's the difference. I've always been a Jamal Murray fan. But anyway, let's get to the contenders. Y'all brought up different teams like the Bucks, Boston, 76 or so. We're gonna play a game. Open door, screen door, or closed door for contenders right now. We saw the Bucks, the number one seed. Yeah, Giannis was a little injured, whatever. Nico, they got a new coach. I feel like this is a different Giannis. We saw him in the press conference going off, going crazy. Lopez and Middleton, who are two big factors for the team. And they got the burden if Giannis wants to leave after next year, he could. Do you see their door closed? They got a screen door, which maybe it might happen, or is it or is it wide open? They still contender. What do you got? Oh, it's it's open. It's still the wide open. Look, there's only one person in this league that I would rather have than Yas Hansen and the Koopa and Sakola Jokic right now. Okay. okay. Plain and simple. I'd I'd take Giannis over ninety five percent of this league still. Um and, yeah, and, and when you have him on your team, like you're still gonna have chances. What they do with Middleton, that's the big question here because obviously yes. Middleton has that player option. Do you try to move him and assign a trade and get a bigger piece like a Damian Lillard or yeah. or, or, or yeah. something along those lines? Like do you try to take a big swing and keep that door open. Look, Miami might look, they lost the team that got to the NBA finals. If, if Giannis doesn't get hurt, who knows how far they go. They, they easily beat New York. I'll tell you that. And look, they have a very good chance of beating Boston again, in my opinion. Look, they're back in the NBA finals. That's that. That's, that's how I see it. So I still think this door is open, but it's a door that is halfway open. That, that, that is, that is starting slowly starting to close. But whenever you have, Second best player in the world, in my opinion, it'll always be open. You always have a chance. I agree. I agree with that. Um, I'm not gonna get your tape on take on that, Darren. We're gonna go to another team because you were high and mighty on this 76ers team, thinking that they were gonna get to the finals. I mean, you could have given me and look, y'all were up three. I was like, yo, yo, I was sitting there like, yo, they might really do it. Then all of a sudden, you know, they let us down. Doc Rivers showed their <laughs> ugly head again. So we look at him. Now they got a new coach. Nick Nurse picked them. We don't know what's going to happen with Harden. MB, he didn't get injured as much, but it's still on the shelf. And we don't know who else they could get. Is their door closed, open, or is that screen door just giving them a chance? What do you think? I think I, you know, I, I think they're now at the stage where they're at a screen door pay. Because I'm I'm a little bit, I love MB's game, but like I have a I have health concerns with him big time going forward. And I like Maxi, but I'm not in on him yet. You know what I mean? Like that's the problem. It's not in on him is that, so he's the big one for me. I've never been in on Harden as good as he is. Like that's never been as a Warriors fan going to get, never been in on in him. And he's proven it in the playoffs at this point. You'd be stupid to say he's a playoff like guy at that point. Um, I, I, I just think they're a screen door. I wouldn't be surprised because they still have an MB. And if the cards fall right, maybe they – I think that's where Lillard should go. Like, that's, to me, the number one spot each of the yeah. land. So, if they got him, I feel differently. But right now, with the way the roster is, to me, it's screen door. I feel when you. was it open? And Harden – and Harden is Actually, not, not number Finals two. Murray. Right, Nico? In December. Harden ain't Finals Murray, baby. And, and Maxi is Murray. not a number – and Maxi is not a number two on a championship contender. No, I'm going to tell not. you right now. No way. But, but just like you said, Darren, they're going to need somebody like a dame, a piece. I think Lillard is the guy for them. And I, they need to – look, if Harden walks, they take they have to throw all their pieces in to get him. It's, it's the only one that makes sense to me. It's the only one. And he'll and fit. It makes perfect he'll sense. Fit. Yeah. It's on the same timeline that we're talking about with him. So, to me, that's the fit, natural one. All right, Nico, a team that you said is kind of like you just poo-pooing them away, and they've been the Eastern Conference Final at the Eastern Conference Final, and they were in the finals last year. The Boston Celtics, who now is about to finish up a deal to send Malcolm Brogdon to the Clippers to get that unicorn, Chris Stapps Borzingas. So, we look, we look at Boston. They got the same young coach. They kept him. Brown and Tatum, we still don't know if they want to be together or not. We don't really know about their relationship. Horford's a little older. You know, Marcus Smart's not the same defensive player of the year. But adding Porzingis does help on the defensive end and that stretch four, like Horford was playing, or stretch five, whatever he wants to play, and helps on defense. Is Boston's door closed, 
screen door or is it still wide open to get back there? It's wide open. It's wide open, in my opinion. Like it's it's it's, it's as far open as any team. Needs. Ooh. Uh, um, Jalen, look, the big question marks around this team now is what they do with Jalen Brown. Yeah. Jalen Brown's name has been dangled out there. And look, if you're Damian, I know we keep bringing him up. <laughs> but if you're fucking Damian Lillard, why would you not go to Boston? Like, like besides the fact of all the fucking idiotic fans they have. It is the best chance to win a championship. If you're going to ring hunt, you go to Boston. You go to Boston. You team up with Tatum. You send Brown over because that's the best deal that Portland could possibly get. I'm with you. And and look, I, I even if they do keep their group together, it's still in my in my opinion the best team in the East. Like, I hate saying that. Like like I still like with this Porzingis trade. I think look, Brogdon was a guy that was getting be- bench minutes off the bench. Now they can move Peyton Pritchard back up into the backup point guard position, and they have a little more depth in the front court and a lot more youth. When you have to face um, Bam out of body, you have to face Joel Embiid in the playoffs. Porzingis is a is not. By all means, an all-world defender, but he's a very, very good quality upgrade. defender and a big body to put in the middle. So that's a, that's a big upgrade for me, in my opinion. Um, and like I said, I, yeah, I think I think the door's wide open. I really do. And 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 like I said, that the big question mark is what they do with Jalen Brown because mm-hmm. the rumors are swirling that he could be on the market. But if you're the Boston Celtics, you don't trade Jalen Brown for for core pieces yeah. to move around. No, you put move him for another star. I'm with you. Why are you smiling, Darren? Why are you smiling? Because I believe Marcus Smart was in the deal, too, and I believe he went to the Wizards in the deal. No, Marcus no, no. Morris was. No, Marcus it was Morris. Morris. He was the one to, that yeah, Morris. He Wizards, was Marcus to, Morris went to the – The Wizards are dumping yep. salary. They're just dumping salary. That's all they're so doing. Marcus, Marcus Morris went to the Wizards? From, from, the, Clippers. from the Clippers. He was yeah. the first one went to the Clippers. Malcolm Brogdon went to the uh, uh, Clippers. Sorry. Gotcha. Morris went to the Clippers to the Wizards. Wizards. Brogdon went to the Boston to the Clippers, and then uh, Przingis went to – All right, that makes a little bit more sense for me because when I saw – I thought somebody said smart, and I was like, that doesn't no, make sense. I thought that too, sense. yeah. But, 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 um, we, we talk about – I don't both. really like Porzingis that much. I think that I, – I don't like that trade for him. I love the trade because of everything that Nico said. He brings a little more yeah, defense. I, I'm not a big person. I've always guy. said Boston needs a bit. And I remember before I said, go get DeAndre Ayton. He's not great, but he's a big body. Borzingas can at least hit threes. He can do some things. Um, he's one of the stretch guys in the middle. But Boston is one of those teams that keeps get. We get there. Remember when Tatum and their, their, their first yeah. year, they push LeBron and them to the max. Then they say, oh, I'm going to get Kyrie. And that fell apart. Now we're going to get Brogdon, who won six man of the year. Six man of the year. And now we're like, eh, you don't fit. We're going to push you away again. I feel like Boston's getting to a spot where you need to make something happen soon because Danny Ainge got all these first round picks and they still got some picks and they have not amounted to no titles. I feel like Tatum, if he doesn't win soon, he's going to start getting in that road like a Harnish, Chris Paulish. I don't know. I'm worried about that. But getting to yeah. the Knicks, the Knicks are another team that's a contender. They got Brunson there. They don't really have a star, though. They don't really have a star. Not that you have to have great stars to win like Denver did. But I have always said, I got to throw it to you, Nico. I've always said, let's trade Randall because Randall seems like he's the odd super superstar out on the team and take a shot at Zion. Randall can go back and be with B.I. and be with all these former Lakers that were friends. And, you know, Zion could be out there with R.J. Barrett and have their little Duke connection. He could be on Madison Square Garden. Look at Zion, da, da, da. What do you think about something like that? Because I think the Knicks have to make some kind of big-time blockbuster move. And I don't really see anybody else going to the team. What do you think, Darren? Uh, I don't, for Zion, I don't go into the Knicks. I think it would, man, if they could get him, I think that would be a great deal. I've, I've heard Knicks on Twitter, like, them say they don't want him, but I'm like, what? what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? I'm like, even if he like turns out to be how he is, you're just kind of in the same way with Randall. I'm not a Randall person at all. You like send you know I mean? like, to a hundred million dollar contract. Exactly. I mean, the Knicks are one of those franchises. If you're a fan, I mean, Randall, I'm just not sold on him at all. He is who he is. Uh, he's going to take a lot of shots. He's going to have some games where he get drops 40. He might even do it for seven straight games, but then he's going to have 10 where you're like, my God, what is this guy doing at times? So I'm just not sold on the Knicks at all. I am closed door on the Knicks. Like I like, I love Brunson. Never, 
Never in a million years would I have said Brunson would have been this type of player. Totally wrong on him. But me but either, there's no though. Way there's no way they're winning. But a I said the same thing about the Nuggets. I've said the same there's thing about Jokic. Right. They had more five years. There's I've said the same thing. And I'm eating pro every single day of my life. I'm eating pro about it. There and Brunson keeps on kind of doing the same kind All of All right, thing. I'll say there's a little crack. A little crack. <laughs> <laughs> the, no, the, the, look, look, Terrell, you're the only person outside of the city of New York that just put in a sentence the New York Knicks and contenders because no one else in the world of basketball that knows anything about ball know, think that the Knicks are a real threat, okay? No, but they're, they're they're the all, well, that's if this team combined that's right now on paper about, is not winning shit. <laughs> like, 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 plain and simple, they're not going to do anything. Plain and simple, they're not. Uh, the, the, even the if door, they got Zion, the, I'm door, not saying the door, the door's been locked, bolted, and shut. <laughs> like, I don't even know. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't know when it was open. Like I, I, I'm still trying to find out when it was open. Like maybe when Melo was there ten years ago. That, the, that's when it was open. Yeah, that's okay. the only time it's been open because it's been locked, bolted, and shut since then. So, yeah, I, I mean, I, good for you for bringing up the Knicks. Uh, you, you, have, you can fit right in with ESPN and find a job there. So <laughs> hey, I'm, talk, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to say, because the NBA is better when the Knicks are better. The, Knick, the Knicks, Lakers, certain teams, when they're relevant, the attention span is better. Just like in football, the Cowboys are relevant in any kind of way. Boy, they would run with all that shit. But anyway, let's get to the West. That's where all our teams lie. And Nico, I'm going to give you this on a silver platter because – you have hated the Lakers for a very long time, and you got your due. You swept them fucking purple and gold, motherfuckers, and you won an NBA championship. Now, now they talking about LeBron's talking about he's frustrated with AD because his lack of toughness. That's like calling the kettle black. But anyway, now we're talking about maybe trading the seventeenth pick to get uh, Miles and to get Buddy Hill. I feel like we've been trying to get Buddy Hill for like fifteen years. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Miles Turner what? and everything. Draymond Green's vacationing with LeBron out here doing things. Chris Paul, maybe. Kyrie, maybe. What about the Lakers? Is the door closed? Screen door with maybe a move or two? Or are it's, we it's, wide it's, open to come back? It's not wide open. No, fuck no, it's not wide open. It's a screen door that the door is nearly shut. Like, I'll, I'll <laughs> say that. Like, like I said, with the honest, we have LeBron James on your team. I know you two both fucking hate him to death. I just still have – like I said, I fear that man – I feared him playing in the playoffs, even though we swept your ass. That's plain and simple. Everyone does. So whenever you face them, it's always going to be an uphill battle because you're facing the purple and gold. You're facing the, the stripes as well that need the Lakers for ratings. So that door will not be closed as far as long as the bronze there, plain and simple. But look, I don't know where these mock trades come up because the Lakers are hilarious, man. You guys are a hilarious fan base. You guys think that fucking Taylor Horton Tucker will land you Damian Lillard in off seasons. Like, well, like that was a real show. mock trade. That was a real mock trade a year ago. When, and look, Taylor Horton Tucker doesn't what? get minutes on the on the second to last place team, Utah Jazz, okay? Austin Reeves, it looks like a damn all pro player next to LeBron. You think you're going to dangle him out there for trade bait? For who? For who? Like, 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 there ain't nobody out there that's going to trade you anything. Plain and simple. Like, like know. this is like, like that team put together as it is will not, in my opinion, will not get back to the Lester Cross Finals. I'm talking about look opinion. at the options that might be there with giving up who? Like, unless you look, look, there's only one free agent, one one splash you can make this offseason. Oh, excuse me, this offseason, and it's and it's Darren's boy. Draymond Green because he's a Chris dick Paul. riding LeBron. Darren, Draymond Chris Paul will make Paul. that team worse. <laughs> oh, Chris look, Paul look. played for the Lakers. I hope they do. I hope, look, please, please, all by all means, sign Draymond Green and Chris Paul because <laughs> if there's ever a time for hard knocks NBA style, put it on the Lakers because that would be some of the best TV show I will ever see. I'm telling you right now, I hate the poor referees. The poor referees. My God. Please put it. Look, I, I, it, you guys may not make the playoffs with that team, okay? Uh, Jimmy I'm almost just didn't make it this year. Hey, probably, yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. So, look, please, by all means, please sign Chris. Hey, some people think the, the Lakers doors, are the second the best team. Got a screen door. Is that what you're saying? Screen door? Yeah, because of LeBron, that's the only reason why. The rest, of the, Anthony Davis is a, is is going to play 30 games next year. He, he he look, Anthony Davis cannot be the best player on a good team. He's a, he's a very good Robin. 
he's he's I, never gonna be the I he's agree. never gonna be the bat he's never gonna be the Batman I on a championship I team. Agree. And with and at LeBron's age right now, he has to be that, and he's never going to be that. And he never amounted to it. I agree completely. All right, Darren, I'm gonna let you do your boys because we look at the Warriors. You lost your GM. You know what I'm saying? Look, Dunleavy yep. from Duke's out here. Does Mike, Dun- Mike Dunleavy go to shoot Mike Dunleavy? I hate his ass. I hate him in the Duke. He looks like Skeletor. I ain't like his dad either. Anyway, play <laughs> Draymond, who, because they talk about Poole might get traded for Chris Paul. I don't know. It, which you could save some money. Would you, first of all, would you do Chris Paul for Poole to get rid of the money for Poole? I don't want Chris Paul in the Warriors. But to get rid of the money for Poole that you're paying him, that'd be a way no. out. I would want Poole instead of Chris Paul. Okay. All right. So I would what too. is Golden State gonna what's the first of all, what's the door? What's the door there? What Golden State I, as is right now? We are getting close to the screen door level, but we're still open door. I, we're still there, but I still think it's open because we have Curry. It's hard for me to say we have Curry, Thompson, Green, and we like it's hard for me to say the door is closed. So I'm gonna still say there. You got all of them. You got that's Curry. true. That's true, but I still feel confident in Green. It's funny. Green wants Mike to be Dun- in L.A. Rich Paul is his. his well, hold on. Too. I got to say, you address Mike Dudley Jr. first. And as a Warriors fan, I have to say, we did take him with the third pick overall. He is literally, if you are, it's kind of like Nico as a Nuggets fan. Like, the Warriors were bad for a long time. So, Mike Dudley Jr. Fa- falls in that category of random people that he was aided by the Warriors. So, it's so funny. He's coming back. I posted a funny video on Twitter. Please check it out with him uh, playing in the day. Uh, but yeah, with that, with the Warriors, I think it's open, Terrell, because I think you still it's have the open. best. Like, you still have the best shooter in the game. I mean, how do you say Curry That's is right. not? He right. just, I mean, he's the best shooter ever. Not the best player, but he's right there on that level. And let's yep. say Clay, he was. I have my issues with him, but you still have him. Cool. I am one of the rare people that still kind of believe in him a little bit. I know Tyler. Not awful. Tell him to stop loving pool. Tell him to stop <laughs> loving Poole, Tyler, please. I, Go ahead. I know. Tyler hates Poole. I actually I, – I still believe in him. And so I, I just can't say the door is closed at all. I can't say the screen door. I say the door is open. When you have Steph Curry, you guys just said it was open with LeBron James. How am I not going to say it's open with Steph he Curry? He said that. <laughs> I saw okay, the screen you, door. I didn't say it was open. I saw the screen door. All right, you, I, I'm just saying, I mean, who was it a couple years ago? Was it Perkins, like our guy that said they get, that, that the Warriors were dead or something like that? You know what I mean? Like, so He's it, an idiot, it, it dude. Is. He's a freaking I know idiot. I'm so glad that you. Nico brought up. I'm so – yo, yo, yo. I was thinking about that all day long. And I hate J.J. Reddick. I hate Duke. <laughs> I hate J.J. Reddick. But him being on first take, he be raw, and I love it because he don't care who he hurts. Perkins is a mumble mouth. He's a dumbass. J.J. Reddick is – I like watching J.J. Reddick. Anyway, go ahead, there. Sorry, but I agree with you. My last thought is we are – the door is still open because we still have Steph Curry. That That's plain and simple. If we keep Draymond, if we if we keep Clay, I just don't see how we're not – a door is not open. So, I, I mean, I just kind of feel like I'd be – I don't know. That's Do you need more? Do you need more? We definitely need more. Some people say I've heard some people say we have to trade. We can't bring back Pool Green and Clay. That's just I, I I mean of course if we can upgrade and get rid of Pool and get uh maybe the guy from the Raptors or something like that. But like I mean nah. we just need people to step up. Kaminga has to take a step. So that's the biggest one. But the, I I think the door is still open. I, I would I I would agree. He may have only got ten minutes left, Nico. So we gotta go to the next topic, yo. Uh, I, I, I'm just saying I would agree. I would agree. But Steph, I would you agree. agree with that. Yeah, I would agree. Did y'all have I, a I team think Trey, in the East or West? James Wiseman was a mistake. One, one pick away. Did y'all both have a team? Sorry, say yeah, that again. From the East or West, did y'all both have a team that's one one move away from contender? I, no? I think the Grizzlies are one move. What? Get rid of I think the Grizzlies. I think the Grizzlies are one move away. If they make a smart move, they could be a team that gets in the mix. I think the way that Jaw's suspension sets up kind of gives them a little kind of a weird late magic run towards the end of the season that I kind of believe in as a thing. So that would be my team from the West, uh, from the East. The, the first team that just cut, jumps to mind. I don't know why is Brooklyn just because I have, they have bridges and they showed some signs of life, but because I'm not going to say Philly, I'm not going to say we already talked about them. So that's going to be the next team I think of. Oh man, for me, like, I, I think there's two teams that, that, that make it very interesting. I, I think, 
The East, it's Cleveland for me. I I, I think that Cleveland is a team that, that people don't talk about enough. I think look, I don't think they need another piece. I think they need young guys to develop into those stars. Yeah. I think they need Garland. I think they need Mobley to move into stars. Yeah. And obviously, Don Mitchell will be an alpha. He can be an alpha yeah, on a good team. And so they and look, Jared Allen too. They have a very very good team in my opinion. They're a team in the East that I would not be surprised if they're a top three team in the East. Like they, it's not necessarily moves. It's just taking the next step. In the West, oh man, I I I hate going back to this team because they weren't a playoff team. It's got to be the Mavericks, right? Like, like when you have Luca, when you have Luca, and and look as as much as a headache Kyrie Kyrie Irving can be. They're still a very, very good team. Have a full season with that team. You see if you can go try to get maybe Aiden. You see if you can go try to get Miles Turner from Indiana. That's a that's a top four team in the West, in my opinion. That's a top four team in the West when when they're all put together. Um, and I think Jason Kidd can do a heck of a job with that team. I think them missing the plan it was a moral factor of being like, now fuck this. We're not we're not going to find a way in. Just, yeah. just 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 to lose to Denver in the first round, or I mean, they could have they probably could have even beaten. Memphis, but that's if they got past the Lakers and, and getting into um, the seventh seed. But I think Dallas could be a team that one big, not necessarily one big move, but one side move that that front, so assures up their front court. Because look, when you're in the Western Conference now, if you don't have a center that that can play defense that's great defensively, welcome to Denver. <laughs> welcome to your nightmare. Yeah. Welcome to your nightmare. Like, like Christian Wood is not going to play 40 minutes against Nicole Jokic. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. So you better go and, and maybe Dwight Powell. Yeah, no, that's, that's barbecue chicken alert is all I'm going to say. So go get you a player, go get you a big, um, from one of these worst teams. I think Porzingis, uh, Porzingis was on Dallas. Boston, so I think baby. there's a couple Boston. Boston already in Boston. Like, I think there's a couple pieces, maybe Siakam and Toronto, like go get you another big, another, another front or, or front court piece instead of a back court piece. And you'll be right back in the thick of things next year. I'm with you. I'm with you with all, everything that all y'all said, I'll be quick with mine. I said the bulls, because we don't know what's going to happen with Levine. I think they're asking too much for him, but I think when Lonzo balls yeah. healthy, their team is a whole different team in my Western conference team was the Pelicans, because I think they have a lot of young players. I think CJ's a star. I think Brandon Ingram's a star. And if Zion can become what he is and stop coming all in women, having all these babies, then maybe they could really be something that's great. You know what I mean? Um, That was bad. I shouldn't have said that. But anyway, y'all know what I'm saying. So those are my teams. But we got got six minutes left. Six minutes left. (laughs) The NBA draft is tomorrow. We know the Spurs are getting the number one pick. We know who they're taking. But here's my thing. I brought it up over and over again. But I feel like both of y'all should appreciate what I'm saying because the it's only two rounds in the NBA. It needs to be more than that. We start looking at it. We start looking overseas players. We talked about dominating, right? Why are you looking like that, Nico? Overseas players dominate. Ro- there's 15 rosters spots. In I know, but, but we see a whole lot of bums out here. We've named a whole bunch of bums that out here. There's a lot of bums that are in the back of the second round. We talked about Miami Heat having all these undrafted players on their team. Undrafted players on their team, right? And the G League, the number two or three pick is going to be coming from the G League. Why can't we have an extra round so we can do our draft and stash? Because when we look at it, we see Danny Green, Hassan Whiteside, Spencer Dinwiddie, Seth Curry, and then your boys, Derek Quinn, Cook, GP2, and your boy, Jordan Poole. And the first ever, the first ever G League call-up is right here. Chris Birdman Anderson for those Denver Nuggets. The very first one. My man, Nico's boy from the G League. I just feel like if we could just give us an extra round, I think it's a whole lot of things that could happen. You, you make a trades, build for the future. You could draft somebody else and say they're not ready yet. Put them on my team. Nobody else can touch them in the G League. What do you think about that, Darren? I will. I'll obviously. I think for just real quick. I think. I think it's a good idea to have to build a foundation like that with your G League a little bit stronger. Like even though knowing that, like even in baseball, you know, like half those guys in AAA probably aren't making the big leagues. You just know it, but they're there to set up the rest of the what? guys. I, yeah, so I do like that factor of more guys being drafted in the NBA and having the G League and the G League be stronger. The NBA could take v- advantage of it business wise because look right. at all the leagues, look at all the leagues and the you know Euro European leagues right. and stuff like that are that are have good talent. So those are the two ways I could see them taking advantage of it. But I, th- I I'm okay with them adding two rounds to it and just Ooh. drafting and developing guys in that regard. 
but I don't think players ultimately want to be stuck to those contracts. I mean, yeah. but wouldn't you, hold, on, hold on, Nick, I'm going to let you finish. But wouldn't you want to be a part of an organization and grow from that organization instead of, instead of saying some G League team I would. grab you and put you on that and now you're going to another city and now you're moving your family. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you do all these no, different things. Fair. You know what I mean? Go ahead, Nico. Yeah. Look, there's only 400 roster spots in the league. 400. Like, like, like you go past third, fourth round. Yeah, that's fine. You can start drafting guys for the G League and everything. That's like, look, like when you when you get to those third, fourth rounds, Nikola Jokic was a 41st overall pick. Like that, like we we like it's crazy thinking what you can find in these late rounds. Obviously, you right. named off all the guys that are undrafted. But when you get to these third and fourth rounds, there's 30 teams. That's 60 players that already are getting drafted this year. 60 players will get drafted tomorrow night. You add two more rounds, that's 120 players. That's a quarter of the league. I say one more you, round. You, uh, either way, one or two rounds. You're, you're running into territory where 90 players out of 400 are drafted. And look, I, there's only one G League team per team. And, and, and unless you want to add another one and add a whole farm system, then I agree you could start growing. But when there's only 30 roster spots, quote unquote, from a G League team and an NBA team, like it, to, adding another round makes it difficult. I think having those guys that are undrafted adds a chip on the shoulder, adds all these things because. When you're undrafted, when you're a third when you're a third round draft pick, you're basically saying welcome to the G League. Like like, like when you're when you're undrafted, you could be like, you know what, maybe I can find myself on the Miami Heat, where where I I could sp- find experiments, where I can find myself in Washington. No, you're just gonna get drafted by a team you don't know. The only and, reason and why we could... talked about the undrafted players is because it doesn't happen very often, dude. I know it doesn't, but so like I said, it doesn't why. happen very often. You're drafting people just to say, oh shit, the you got drafted. Spurs. Then. The Spurs would draft players for years from overseas and be like, we know they're under contract for two more years, but we're going to draft them anyway, right? The Spurs have been doing this for years with all these foreign players. Why don't you let them do it with one more round here so you can build them up yourself? Why not? Look at all these players that have come and made money. Your boy Chris Birdman Anderson, is he's known, period, because he busted his ass in the G League. And now he's an NBA champion. He didn't play. He didn't play. Fun fact: He didn't play a game in the G League. He got literally he got drafted there, and he got picked up right away by the Denver Nuggets. He well, played. He would have busted his ass. Whatever. But e- either way, I, I I I don't disagree with you that that the, that having more development would not hurt at all. Right. But I just don't understand. I don't think that adding more draft picks adds to this because then you're then there's guys that look. You get also throw in the contract aspect of this. Second round picks, most of the guys will be on two way deals at best. Are you just going to sign exclusive G League Anybody deals? That goes like, off I, of the show, we still on Spotify. Go ahead, Nico. I, I just, I just think that you're going to run into a lot of trouble. Like, like adding more rounds, adding more players, because like I said, there's only 400 roster spots with 30 teams in the league and 15 guys on a roster, and it's going to run into some problems. I understand. I don't hate what you're saying. players, but I just think it's going to run into problems. I understand exactly what you're saying. My only thing about it was when you have one extra round, it's kind of like a wild card. You can say, I'm going to draft that player because you never know. That, that's how the second round and is. That you that's never all. know might turn into something crazy like